Hello, welcome again. In this episode we will zoom into a question we received from a customer. He asked us, uh, I see suddenly an increase in rejected blood eggs this week and could iMOBA be of help in finding the source of my problems? Let's have a look. Now the first thing to do is as always open my iMOBA app. My browser still recognizes it. It gives me the data and um, it gives me the home page of iMOBA. Since I'm having a problem with my quality, I go down, I scroll down to the quality section and I'll find my input upgrades. That's a summary of all the upgrades coming into my machine. When I click on this, I get the diagrams that we discussed more often. Since the problem of the blood eggs was reported this week, I have this set at week. And I scroll down, because I'm not interested in the size, or the sizes per supply, or the upgrades per type. No, I'm interested in the upgrades per supply. This graph gives me all the information about crack, dirt, leaker and blood. But since the scale is very limited and blood is actually almost invisible here, here you see a little red line, um, it's very limited, I can simply switch the other upgrades off by clicking on the indicator here at the bottom of the graph. The graph rescales automatically and here is my list of suppliers from some very high, very low blood percentages as you can see 0.0%, it's less than 0.1% up to the biggest that would be this one 0.2% blood eggs. So this gives you directly information which uh, supplier is giving you the headache. An even more sophisticated way to do it would be to rank them from bad to good or vice versa. That's a function we will probably bring into a next uh, release of iMOBA. But today there's also a right, right convenient way to do it and it is by going to this context menu because there is an option to download the information that we're just looking at as an XLS file or an Excel file. If I download this one and I open the file gives me a warning, the, my safety software is saying, oh, I don't know the origin, but if I say yes, you see that you get exactly the data that we were just looking at in the graph. If I clean this up a little bit, I remove the unneeded lines, I end up with all the supplier names, and in my demo it's just supplier 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., but in reality these are the names of your supplies. Um, and the blood percentages. The problem is that um, it is reported with a decimal dot while my computer, since I'm in the Netherlands, works with a digital comma but that is easily to be replaced by just saying edit, find and replace and I can say replace the dot with the comma, replace all, so that takes care of that. Now as you know, if you have a, a table and uh, the headers of the table are in a different format, bold or uh, italic or both. It recognizes this as a table. So if I select my headers, put a filter on it and say I want to sort them descending, I see that my supplier with the biggest problems is at the top and the best is at the bottom. And if I would now just drag this window into a graph, insert column graph, I'll get exactly the chart that I'm looking for. As you can see here, this simple method gives me immediately uh, a diagram with the worst performing uh, supplier on blood eggs, that is supplier number nine with 0.16% blood, and this is by far the best one, 0.01 as we've seen. So if you concentrate on these top four or five, you will probably find the cause of your blood problem. Again, this function is easily to be done in Excel. It shows you also the exportability of the data, but at the same time, this is a function you, that you might find back in a release very soon of iMOBA. And of course, the same way I showed this for blood, it could be easily crack or dirt eggs or leaking eggs that you're looking after. 
Thanks again for watching and uh, watch out for the next episode of this iMOBA tutorial.